Welcome back live from Los Angeles. We're thrilled to have Ann Alilandri. I can say the name, I swear. How are you doing? I love your, your beautiful jewels. Thank They're you so, so gorgeous. much. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. You are Good to uh, be here. It's all about reshape. Yes. What does that mean exactly? You know, it. well, the whole idea how reshape was started is, you know, I'm in my 40s, mid 40s, and I was not, I was feeling off, right? But not really bad enough to go to a doctor. And it was a conversation myself and my girlfriends were having about, you know, lack of sleep, low sex drive, mm. lack of energy, um, poor digestion, hair loss. I mean, the list went on and on. And I am just a very inquisitive person by, by nature. And I refused to kind of sit back and pass that off as mm. age. And I was determined to really, you know, figure it out seeking out the best doctors and scientists, researchers, motivators, biohackers, and really sort of hacking my health. And that's sort of when the whole journey began. And I really just wanted to empower every woman that you don't have to just sit back and accept these things. You can so really tell us, tell us, tell us, about it. tell us. I so mean, my gosh, you're kidding. It's been, a, it's been about a two year, journey just with myself personally and my own health. I was doing a live television show mm -hmm. and you know, when you're live, things have to really be connecting because you know, my I was thinking something in my brain, but it wasn't quite coming out. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, if I don't get this figured out, I'm going to lose this job. Mm -hmm. So that's when, you know, was my moment when I started to see a naturopathic doctor and really started to understand what was going on with my body. And, you know, I talked to all my girlfriends. I'm from the South, from Louisiana, and my girlfriends hadn't, haven't heard anything about this. So it was just, I wanted to share all the information that I was learning. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. It's definitely working. I always felt you were truly ageless, but I feel like you've even reversed age, if that's possible, right. when you're ageless. You know what? Now, I actually think it's possible. Right? With all the research and everything mm -hmm. I've been learning, um, I, I think it's, it's totally possible to reverse that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Wow. Just love it. So tell us some of w what you do. I mean, as a woman that I'm in my mid forties now uh -huh. and, um, you know, yeah, I, I mean, there's been, there's definitely a change. You start seeing a change and, and it's, you know, of course you eat better, you try and sleep, you do all those things, but tell us some, some secrets that you found. Well, I think for me, a big thing was hacking. Like I was sharing with you early, earlier that morning routine. And, you know, this is pulling from Tony Robbins and Robin Sharma. And you were talking about mindfulness and kind of like that voice. There's Michael Singer who has the book Untethered Soul. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just really doing so much research, so much reading, uh, seeking out those experts. So I knew that I had to get my morning right. I mean, before I was sort of deflecting, right? You know, I'd wake up at seven, the kids were up, I had to get them all ready. And, you know, I was sort of just, the day was attacking me and I, it, it, you know, it, it set me up for failure, I think, for the day. I wasn't getting things done. I felt like, you know, I wasn't fully fulfilled in my day. So I, Robin Sharma, I don't know if you know him. Like, like who sold his Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> I love him. You had me in books. I'm yeah. like, oh, wow. He uh, has something called a 5 a.m. club. Although um, my husband went to his conference this year, he's like, now it's the 4 a.m. Yeah. club. And I completely agree with it. So waking up at five, and the first thing you do is sort of get your body moving, right? Getting, you know, blood and oxygen to your brain so you feel like more alert. Then I do think a lot of people now are talking about meditating and before it was kind of like Ew, meditating mm -hmm. um, it could be just praying right just having that moment that centered moment being fully aware you know thinking about all the wonderful things you're grateful for taking those breaths centering yourself and then also you know having three children I wasn't reading like mm -hmm. I love to read so again finding something that really fed my soul so that's sort of how I start my morning and that has made a big big difference and then the other thing for me has been hacking my sleep you know i wear a sleep tracker this is the older version what? but it's, it's a sleep what? tracker it's a, the, the new version is just like a wedding band it's called aura it's a, a finnish a, for a company wow. from finland and i track my sleep so oh. I, my goal is every morning to wake up with a, a sleep score of around 80 80 oh, in the wow. 80s um, and I can sort of adjust my week because it really makes a big difference mm -hmm. I was getting sick all when I was on my talk show I was getting sick all the time oh. right um, and now like I haven't gotten sick once this year Yay. knock on wood I haven't gotten sick once this year and based on my sleep I can also it determines my activity my recovery so really just gathering that that data 
to know how I should move forward in my day and in my week. How much wow. sleep do you require? Everybody's different. You know, some people, and, and also, you know, my friend, Dr. Michael Bruce, who's a sleep doctor, uh, he has a book called The Power of now, I think, and it's all about knowing your chronotype. Mm. You know, so some people, they have wolves, they have lions, they have dolphins. I know it's all kind of crazy. No, 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 I I used to be a dolphin, (laughs) and you could change, and now I'm a bear, which is like the majority of the people, so that's sort of a good thing. So I am an early, I like to wake up early in the morning. That's Mm. when I have my most energy, and I'm most productive around nine and 10. Um, But it really, you know, screen time is a big, big thing before you go to bed. Mm. So, you know, download programs into my computer mm-hmm. or even just trying to stay off the screen. I I use blue blocker glasses. I look nuts. <laughs> you know, with these red glasses. Right? Well, I have the, the day, sleep doctor glasses. glasses. Yeah. Yes. I have these, um, these true dark, these stickers that I put on all the little lights, oh, wow. you know, in my room. Um, just really setting myself up for success in my sleep routine, wow. you know. Well, it's working. It's you're, been it's great. Definitely working. Is, you're I looking had so amazing. much fun doing this and then sharing that with everybody because mm-hmm. I just feel like I was just at an event with Maria Shriver uh, and she's all about uh, an, uh, the Alzheimer's movement, mm-hmm. right? And really understanding your brain. And they were talking about these things. I was like, oh my gosh, that's exactly what we're talking about. I'm reshape. This is so exciting. But then I saw all these women in the audience and everybody was like, what? What? Like, I had no idea. So, mm-hmm. you know, that's just really exciting that I get to share all this. Well, and you I've, have so many people you can impact because we've yeah. got all the baby boomers, all yeah. the, you know, and and it's good for men and women, mm-hmm. but especially women, you know, we, we do, we start changing. Things change and you're like, where? And you and you all over the internet research and you don't know what exactly to listen to. So exactly. you embody it. And people always say, go to a mentor that you want to be, you want to be yeah. them. You want their life. You, you are inspired by them. So it's really wonderful to Thank have you. you. Who do you consider to be like your mentor, your inspiration? Um, well, there's somebody that I'm currently totally obsessed with. You know, I've jumped around from who I love, Dave Asprey. I love Robin Sharma. I love Robin Sharma. I do love Tony Robbins. I love Michael Singer. Um, I mean, there's so, so many. many right? There's so yeah. many, right? It's yeah. really hard. But um, there is a, a woman. Her name is Naomi Whittle. She just came out with a new book called Glow 15. And I feel like it really encompasses everything that I've been learning mm. kind of in one place that I can apply it and see like immediate results. Wow. So I am, I mean, her book just came out, um, but I met her like last year. So I'm really, really excited about that. And Glow 15, is it sort of 15 steps to basically look glowed up? Like yeah, this? it's basically, yeah. you know, it talks about autoph- autophagy, which is, it means self eating, you know, like, so you do intermittent fasting, Mm -hmm. there's special teas, um, you, uh, what is it called, the term, where some days you do protein, other days you don't, Um, timing of your sleep, she comes from the world of supplements, so specifically what supplements you should be using. I've also talked to a scientist actually this week where, you know, I'm really, I really believe that you should know where you are individually. And, you know, the only way we could do that before was to do all of these blood tests, gut Mm -hmm. tests, everything. So now there's something where it's basically a body scan and you don't have to do any, you don't have to draw blood Mm -hmm. and it can change daily. And it tells you exactly what your body needs on a daily or weekly basis. So how often are you Scanning. I haven't started yet, but I just learned of this technology. Let's do it. So I all of this the is challenge. To <laughs> so it's very, very, it's very exciting because I'm all about hacking your health. We don't have time. We're so busy, know, right? right? And you have to sift through all the noise that's out there. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, stay tuned. We will be back with more in Ally Landry on Good Morning Land.